The next thing that we need to do is get different pieces of paper, cut them out or rip them out, and glue them down in an interesting way to create the background of our piece. Once we have it glued down and it's dried sufficiently, then we will be creating a grid on top of those papers that we have glued down. Once we get our papers onto our gray paper and they're glued down, we are going to be making a grid onto all of the different papers so that we can draw it out. The way we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna be using a 2H pencil. That's a, a harder pencil that doesn't leave as much graph graphite behind. Um, and we're going to be breaking it into three inch squares. The reason that is is because our paper is 15 inches long and 15 divided by five is three. And the reason we're dividing it by five is because that's where that's how many cells are in our picture where we put a grid on top of our picture. We have five cells by four cells. So if you look at our grid on our picture, it's a five by four. So we have 15 inches. We're going to divide that by five, which equals three. So on the top of this paper here, I'm going to put a mark at three, six, nine, twelve and then 15, but 15 is the end of the paper. And then I'm going to flip it around. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Three, six, nine, 12. And then I'm going to do it up here. Three, six, nine. Um, I know this is only 12 inches wide, but 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we have 4 cells going across on our picture. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 3, 6, 9. Going to slide down here to the bottom of the paper. I'm bumping my ruler up on the edge of that paper, making sure that it's at the right length. And I'm going 3, 6, 9, just like that. Going to line my ruler up with where it's touching this dot and that dot there. And then I'm going to hold it at the back of my pencil very, very lightly. I'm going to put the pencil on its edge, hold the ruler down straight, and draw a line very light. I know you probably can't see this on the screen. I want it to be hard for you to see in person. There is no reason you should press down hard while drawing these lines. That's just gonna make more work for you in the end if you press down hard. It's very, very hard to see. Yep, you're not gonna be able to see it. Okay, so then you put your grid on top of this and you are ready to start to sketch your picture lightly using your graphite pencil as well, um, drawing it very lightly, making sure not to put any indentions, especially in the watercolor paper. If you put an indention there and then go to erase it, the watercolor is going to flood to that indention and make it darker. Okay, so you're ready to create your picture. Go ahead and create your grid on your paper. So to reiterate why we divided our papers into three inch squares, that is because we have five cells going across and then we have four cells going up and down. So we have four rows of these cells. So we are going to take our paper that is 12 inches wide and we're going to divide it by four, those four cells that went across. 12 divided by four is three. So we have one, two, three inches here, and then four, five, six inches in the next row, and then seven, eight, nine inches in the next row, and then 10, 11, 12 inches in the next row, and that makes our 12 inch paper. The same thing on the, on the other rows that are going across horizontally, we're going to divide 15 inches by five because we have five rows. And that's going to also give us three inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15. And that gives us our entire paper. Hope that makes sense.